Hi, this is Wayne Mansfield. Very quick thought to share with you today. Um, it's about the fifth week of the year, and things have slowed down a little bit. You know how we get all fired up, new start of the year, we'll do all these things. One of the things I had set myself to do was a world tour for social media 2014. And uh, very enthusiastic first couple of days. Uh, talked to my friend Michael Q. Todd in Japan. He's really uh, interested. He recommended that I talk to a lady in uh, the UK, a couple of other people in uh, Dubai. And I did all my stuff and nothing much else happened. Uh, working on two new really big clients and uh, not used to how long things take to go through big companies. Uh, it, where something would take two or three days in a normal environment that we work in, five, six, seven, eight weeks later, stuff uh, sort of got a little bit uh, untidy. I lost a bit of interest in uh, what was going on. My enthusiasm for the world tour stopped. Um, my daughter uh, texted me and said, Dad, uh, I'd like to come home for a couple of weeks, right in the middle of when I was supposed to be going somewhere. So. The, wasn't going to win too many friends from getting on a plane, taking off the day after she arrives to come and visit. She hadn't been home for a couple of years. So um, this thing that happened is what uh, Seth Godin, um, he's got this fabulous book called The Dip, what Seth Godin calls The Dip, which is that point where uh, everything goes wrong uh, and there becomes barriers to continuing on and he says that it happens to everybody uh, but not many people go through and this morning I was reading um, some of his material about the book I'd read this dip before and I, I wrote this down because it, it's really really important and it's got me all fired up again so extraordinary benefits accrue to the tiny minority of people who are able to push past the dip and the tiny bit longer, stay at it a tiny bit longer than most, and that's what uh, makes all the difference. So in this regard, uh, the reading of books uh, makes a, a, an amazing difference to how you can keep uh, your energy up, your motivation up, and, you, and all things that drive you forward. And here's something else about continuous learning. They say that there was a, there was a, uh, an example just the other day that um, 10 people, including one person from Western Australia, uh, own 80% of the world's wealth. 10 people own 80% of the world's wealth. Um, and it goes through, you know, why, why could this be the case? So I was looking at continuous learning and this is something that I also picked up from reading this morning and I want to commend it to you that you should do as much as you can to get yourself um, away from where you might possibly now. The most successful CEOs in the world are reported to read on average 60 books a year and attend six conferences a year. Uh, the average person reads less than one book a year and learn, earns about 2% of the person who reads 60 books goes to six conferences a year. So to put that in perspective, um, if the average person is earning uh, 50000 a year, the most successful CEOs in the world earn 319 times that amount of money. So close to 10 to 15 million dollars a year and the common factor is continuous learning and the best place to learn is from books now books don't have to be hard copy like this they can be electronic like that and they can be uh, audio where you walk around and listen to it so I commend to you as you face the next time that you lose motivation as you get to what uh, Seth Godden and his amazing yellow glasses calls the dip. Seek out information from books and it will get you past the dip and you'll be one of the small minority who gets on to achieve magnificent things. Until next time, good reading.